Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome once again to my bathroom. I promise the next one will not start at my bathroom, but today is part two of my skincare routine. This is my night routine, much like my morning. I keep it really super simple. It's not a long routine, it's not a hard routine, but for me, this has been really working and I really feel like my skin has just been so, so good lately, except for like a little hormonal breakout situation. But other than that, it's been really clear and glowy and beautiful. So I just wanted to share what I've been doing with you guys. Um, before I start, like I do with all my skincare routines or skincare videos, I like to mention a couple things. First of all, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not an esthetician. I'm just somebody who loves skincare um, and I like to test and show you things on my very real skin. Um, but obviously, if you have any skincare concerns, please go seek a professional, a dermatologist, someone you trust. Um, but I'll try to answer any questions I can, but I am not a professional by any means. These are just what works on my very real skin issues. Speaking of skin issues, I always like to t tell you guys my skin type. I have very dry, pretty acne prone skin. Um, I also live in a very dry climate. So all of those things affect my skincare routine and the skincare I put on my face. So, um, yeah, that's all I have to say. And let's just hop right into the skincare. Okay, so obviously I'm going to put my hair up first. Um, I've already put a cleansing wall on my face today. Today I took a bath, so I like to take off my makeup before I get in the bath because I tend to like sweat a little bit in the bath because I like a nice warm bath. So I already took off my makeup. Um, I'll insert a clip of me using this product, but this is the Juno Skin clean 10 cleansing balm um this is a newer product to me i'm still testing it out but i really like it so far um you can get this on amazon um i'll leave links down below but um it's a good price you get a good amount um do i love the plastic packaging not so much it feels like a lot of plastic but i feel like for the price it's a good price point and it's a good product it works really well it takes off all my makeup i like how it feels and emulsifies really well so i do enjoy it um, but I'm still like testing. So I'll give you my final thoughts eventually, but I do really enjoy it. And this is probably one of my more favorite cleansing balms. Um, so my second step is my second cleanse, which just like in the morning, I use my Foreo and my Cetaphil. Talk about these all the time, but this doesn't dry my skin out or anything. Cleanses really well. And I really, really enjoy this one. So I'm going to cleanse my face. I'm just gonna speed through this if you're curious about how, what I'm doing. Go to my morning skincare routine and you'll kind of see that a little bit more in depth. Now my skin is all cleansed. I'm just gonna pat it dry. Um, and the next step changes throughout the week. So my skin is still on a three day rotation. So let me show you what I'm gonna use tonight and I'm gonna explain the other two days. So tonight is my exfoliation night. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear my son, he's out there playing. Um, but tonight's my exfoliation night. I'm going to use my glycolic exfoliating toner from Good Molecules. I've had this stuff for a while now. It lasts forever. It's such a big bottle. And I like to just put it on my hands and then just pat it right into my skin. I don't like to waste any product in a cotton round or anything. And that works fine for me. So after whatever step I'm doing that night, I'm going to put... Lotion on, again, this is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This stuff, like I've said before, is amazing. Um, I use this morning and night. And it's really hydrating, it's nice and thick. Um, but I don't find it to like clog my pores or anything. So that's, I just really like it. Again, I get that big size from Costco in a two pack and it's amazing. So like I said, my skin is on a three night rotation. So tonight was night two, my exfoliating night. So night one would be my retinol night. 
The retinol I'm currently using is the La Roche Posay Adapling Gel. You can get different, anything like that, but Adapling is great for acne. I find that every three nights is plenty for my skin, um, but anything like that for acne is great. I also found that because it's a retinol, it also helped to like smooth some of my fine lines that I was getting and stuff. Um, I haven't noticed any irritation. I like slowly worked this into my routine. So that helped a lot, but I love this. It's great. Um, I have found that at least at my target, the La Roche Posay is slightly cheaper than the different, but they're the same thing. So um, I just want the La Roche Posay, but the different is great as well. So that's night one. Night two is exfoliator. Night three is kind of like a chill night, but I like to work in a niacinamide. The one I have been using is the, again, La Roche-Posay Niacinamide 10 Serum. This stuff is great, but it is strong. It's 10%. So I personally wouldn't recommend using this every day. Um, from what I've read, most dermatologists say somewhere between like three and 5% is safe to use every day, but much higher than that, you can get an adverse reaction. So I use this, like I said, every third night and I like to slug with this. So I put on this, my CeraVe, and then a little bit of Aquaphor on top to lock it all in. And I just wake up with like the most glowy, gorgeous skin. And I really like what niacinamide does for my skin. Um, I am like literally, I think I'm out of this or like one more use out of this one and I'm gonna be done. So I'm trying a new one. I'm trying the Well People Pore Detox one. This is only 5%. So, um, I'm definitely gonna use it like on my third night, but I might also try to work this in with my retinol because niacinamide and retinol are supposed to be amazing together, but obviously a 10% one wouldn't be ideal with that. So I might try to do that, but for now, this is just gonna go on my third day. So I don't have an opinion on this, but this is the one I'm going to try next. So I feel like my skincare routine at night seems complicated, but really it's just rotating that treatment step in the middle there but otherwise i really keep it simple with a double cleanse some sort of treatment and then a good moisturizer and that's really all i do i like to keep it really nice and simple and not layer up too much things to cause any like irritation or reaction or anything so i really like to keep it simple but yeah that's my whole nighttime skincare routine like i said super simple but it's really working for me i really feel like my skin is nice and clear and glowy and dewy and soft and i just really have been enjoying the skincare routine so hopefully you guys enjoyed this as well like i said if you have any questions please leave them down below i will try to answer them the best that i can um don't forget to subscribe to subscribe we would love to have you join our little adventure family here and yeah i think that's it for this video so i'll see you in my next adventure bye